Like most kids, I just wanted to fit in. But for me, that meant secretly harboring this unfulfillable desire to be white. What does my tattoo say? Sa li. Means flirt in Chatino. Chatino, it's the indigenous language of my Oaxacan family. I was born in Oaxaca to a Chatino mother and a father from the Isthmus. I was taken to the U.S. when I was a baby, and I spent most of my time going back and forth between Mexico and the U.S. In the U.S., I'm brown, I'm exotic, I'm Mexican, I'm an immigrant. In Mexico, I'm American. In Oaxaca, I'm maybe Chilanga. If not, then just definitely not from Oaxaca. Oh, sad. Even white people try to question my indigeneity. Yes, I am indigenous. I am a Chatina Ismeña Mexican American woman. Chatino was my first language, Spanish my second, and English my third. My family has been working to find ways to preserve and create an official writing system for Chatino since I was a kid. Well, yeah, lately I've been trying to relearn Chatino. Ni son Dani. <laughs> That's the way that people greet each other in Sinigia. Wash we e. That's thank you in Chatino. In the States, I mostly grew up in white liberal environments, and the communities I was exposed to as a young child were full of love. But I think it's hard to feel loved and accepted in a society that was founded and built upon racism. I was in pain because I was constantly looking outwards for, no sé, like guidance, approval, acceptance. It wasn't until I looked inwards that I was able to regain my strength, the strength I was born with. Oaxaca is a part of that strength. When I go back, I return to my center. I become grounded. I remember I have roots that reach so deep, it's actually impossible for anything to knock me down, pull me out. I'm physically small, but the strength I was born with is bigger than me, richer than me, deeper than me, and still a part of me. Yeah, I'm also American. I realize it's not me that's corrupt or corrupted. It's the ones that say that I don't belong, that I don't exist, that I don't matter, that people like me don't matter. Those people are the broken ones. Because what they don't realize is they're killing themselves too. I was always afraid of being the other. I wanted to attach myself to a single identity. I have let go of trying to choose and then become more fluid, like water. <laughs>